office. Namaskaram Sadhguru. Where are you? Okay. Uh, my name is Raman and my question is that at a point of, at, at some point or some other point, all of us we feel kind of lost, like, um, like we are not connected to something or this idea of not belonging anywhere. So what is that phase and how can we come out of it? That's called freedom. <laughs> yes. See, uh, people are always talking about freedom, but they're always thinking how to bind themselves to something or somebody. If you're really lost in your life, you're absolutely free, isn't it? Hello? No? So, freedom is a… a territory which needs lot of maturing and culturing to handle, otherwise, People doing compulsive things, they're thinking they're free. These are compulsive things. Somebody is drinking, if you say, why… why don't you not drink today, you can do it tomorrow. Why don't I have the freedom to drink? No, it's compulsive. If you're calling your compulsiveness as freedom, it's very unfortunate. You lost all your freedom in compulsiveness. So freedom is that kind of a territory where you have to culture yourself, mature yourself to exist free. Everybody, I think at some point we provide these opportunities for young people to come and just be by yourself. No compulsive talking, no phone, no drink, no nothing simple, you eat what you want for nourishment and then simply be. Everybody must spend at least a little bit of time like this because only then you understand how compulsive you are. Unfortunately, we are translating compulsiveness as some kind of a goal in our life or freedom in our life, no. See, if you want to get somewhere in your life, get somewhere does not mean be better than somebody, do this, earn this, that, no. As a life, your experience of life should become a fantastic experience. So right now, all the crazy things that people are doing in their life, why? They drink, sexuality, temple, this, meditation, whatever they're doing. Why are they doing? Because they want their experience of life to become pleasant. Yes or no? Somebody hits the bottle, somebody hits somebody else, and somebody does something else, but essentially looking for pleasantness. If your body becomes pleasant, we call this health. I'm talking yoga now to you, officially. If your body becomes pleasant, we call this health. If it becomes very pleasant, we call it pleasure. If your mind becomes pleasant, we call this peace. If it becomes very pleasant, we call it joy. If your emotions become pleasant, we call it love. If it becomes very pleasant, we call it compassion. If your very life energies become pleasant, we call this blissfulness. If it becomes very pleasant, we call it ecstasy. If… if your… if your surroundings become pleasant, we call this success. Only for this last one, to make our surroundings pleasant, we need the cooperation of many forces around us. Many things have to fall into place. But to keep your body pleasant, mind pleasant, emotion pleasant, your life energy is pleasant, it's one hundred percent your business, not good for the business. <laughs> Isn't it one hundred percent your business to keep this body, this mind, this emotion and this energy pleasant within yourself? If these things are pleasant, right now you sit here and you're blissed out. Now, what will you do with your life? What do you think you will do? Hmm? Probably nothing. Really? Okay, she's saying probably I'll do nothing. I'm asking all of you, tell me, on a day when you're very happy, are you willing to do lot of things or a day when you're depressed, you're willing to do lot of things? When you're happy, you're willing to bend backwards and do everything possible. When you're little unhappy, how difficult it is to move you, isn't it? So why do you say if you're blissed out, you'll do nothing? It is just that you will no more be a vested interest you are not in pursuit of happiness, your life is an expression of your bliss. Now what will you do? You will do what's needed. Every human being 
should be doing what is needed, isn't it? Right now, they are trying to milk happiness from the world, destroying the world in the process, completely destroying the world. See, today, what is it that this ecological disaster is unfolding? What do you think it is? In pursuit of human happiness, isn't it? Nothing else. In pursuit of human happiness, we have turned this planet into uh, a bonfire <laughs> and people are not even happy. <laughs> Forget about being happy, most people are in different state of struggles. So, it's very, very important. What is in your hands? First, all those things must be taken char charge of. What we do in the world, let us see to what extent the world allows us to do it. Your body, your mind, <laughs> your emotions and your energies must take instructions from you, isn't it so? Hello? Right now, it is taking stimuli and instructions from all sorts of people. So how the hell do you think you will go where you want in your life when somebody else and somebody else can make this body, this person do whatever they want? At least what happens within you must be determined by you. What happens around you, it'll never be hundred percent determined by you. If you work hard, little more influence, otherwise little less influence, but never hundred percent. Outside situations will always be like that and they should be like that, because if the whole world happens the way you want, then where do I go? Little bit your way, little bit my way, little bit somebody else's way, it's fine. But what happens here must be my way. If this one thing happens your way, will you keep yourself blissful, miserable, depressed, what? So essentially you must understand, you can call it stress, anxiety, misery, depression, whatever you call it. Essentially your intelligence has turned against you, that's all that's happened to you. Because there is no any kind of knowledge in your education system from A, B, C to till this day, how to take charge of the faculties that you have within yourself. There is no addressing it at all. If you address it, people say, oh, you are archaic. This has become the norm in the country. If you say you need to do something with yourself, no, 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 we do everything outside. No, you need to do something with yourself because otherwise you will not happen the way you want yourself to be. That's a disastrous life.